Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. confession to make. I love you. It's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here. And majority rules. Oh, it's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! <laughs> My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! <laughs> wow! Silly! What do we do with the real costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cause the future is now! Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> the magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful! Uh -oh. Quick! Everyone outside! <laughs> Just in time. This is worse than super glue. If this continues, the neighbors are going to get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. <laughs> Uh-oh. Costumes. Washington, Sam, get me that chicken right this second. Mm, Mr. Radish, not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the? That's us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried. Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me. Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Susie! <laughs> 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 Those voices.
voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> <laughs> it's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters. Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! Give me that! There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on! Makes you look fat! <laughs> Go on, get lost! Go back to your forest, you losers! These are our costumes now, and that is our life! <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are walking disasters, and our reputation is shot. All that work we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke. This time we're goners. It's back to the forest. <laughs> no. No way are we going to let them take over our lives! Yeah? They're going to find out what we're really made of. Yeah! We're going to show them I'm not a dodo bird! This time you've gone too far, raccoon! Hey, guys! I think these bozos didn't quite catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Our beloved little pets! They're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay. So, I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're going to let you get some rest now. Poor guys. I bet we really did scare them. Think we're gonna let you choose channels? Not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons! They stole our costumes! You've got to help us! Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly. And you'll see, my plan is going to work. <laughs> and what's more? The Living Stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the Bath Robot Enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? Enforcement in 10, 
problem of mistaken identity here. We're not pets. Look, Mr. Robot. Yeah, we're not pets. We don't need to take a bath. It's horse bath in three, two, one. I fear that the flame of my heart is wavering. Oh, yeah. oh come on. Only 137 more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. No. <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. Don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A oh, treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> and three we jump. One, two, three! Yeah! Yes, you come on. Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, aha! Ah! Huh? It's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah! <laughs> Sam, get out of here! Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Oh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. 
If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal. <gasps> and your zipper is metal, like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine. <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm. I know, while there's still time, no. we've gotta watch TV. We have to stop him digging. <laughs> yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing up. No. Right, here we go. Mm. Here's pretty good, isn't it? Huh? Gracie went back into the house and took her toy with her. What do we do now? I know. We'll make like Father Christmas. You mean we get some tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us, and then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No! We head down the chimney. Ah! Great idea! <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. <laughs> uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> Your zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro. Okay, right, don't panic. There must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam! Water! What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? You, oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of Kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any Kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam! You are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're gonna hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Wash? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. 
What are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. uh, what? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. ah. Uh -huh. ah. That bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam. Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh no! Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> huh? Whoa! This way, Sam! Quick! It's okay, Sam. Ha! Ah, yeah. There they are! My pretty little treasure thieves. Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and... A cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm -hmm. Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater. I thought it was lost forever. Thanks. This is the best treasure you could ever find. <laughs> there we go. Now, nobody will find our treasure. Darling, huh? you haven't seen Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater, have you? It was on the kitchen table. Hang on, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Jeannie, but we never understand your games. But this one's really easy. It's a TV rebus. I zap from channel to channel, and we have to understand the words from the pictures. I'll show you. Car becomes dive. Mm -hmm. While chasing this car. Sometimes wild animals venture into Stop! the sea where they Stop! Don't change channels! Food. Worst of all, they bring with them a whole host of diseases transmissible to humans. I've had it. Always the same old baloney. Foxes are so wild. They loot the trash. They carry diseases. Don't worry, Wash. We know that foxes are great guys. Mm. Hey, how about we create a documentary to redeem the good name of foxes everywhere? I could show the world what incredible animals we really are. I'm going to need your help. Yeah. <sighs> Nobody's interested in my game. Eugenie. You're my go-to camera girl, okay? Really? Uh, hmm? Yay! Let's go! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> hey, Vic, want to play in our documentary? Do I want to act? I am a born actress. Great! We needed walk-on huh? parts. <sighs> Everybody in position! And action! <laughs> So what? Cut! That's great! 
Two more scenes like that and the show is in the can. Do some editing. Ugh. Anyway, your crummy documentary doesn't deserve talent like mine. Crummy? My documentary is not crummy. Is it? <laughs> wow! UGD, your documentary is awesome! Thanks a million, buddies! Because of you, Fox's reputation ratings everywhere will go through the roof! Did you see that, honey? I always thought foxes were aggressive, solitary animals. But he is so cute! I just want to bring him home and make him ours! Hey! You're not gonna take your costume off, are you? Why not? You heard him. The Livingstones want to adopt a fox, which is pretty handy because I am a fox. Wash, what if they change their minds when they see you for real? You'd get yourself sent straight back to the forest. I hear your anguish, Sam, but as my grandfather used to say, when the fox gets tough, the going gets rough. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, the fox is mightier than the door? No, but what was it he used to say? Whatever! So, are you taking your costume off or not? Uh, hear that, honey? Uh, <laughs> he's even cuter than on the video! Watch out, honey! He's still a wild animal! No, look! He's totally harmless! You see? How about we adopt him? We do already have five animals. Six will be way too much. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, little fella. Look at the wild guy who got taken in and tamed. Bravo! You're a genius, Wash. And it's all thanks to me. If my acting in that video hadn't been so good, you'd never have gotten to take off your costume. <laughs> so, guys, costume's not feeling too tight? <laughs> yeah, mine is. So I'm gonna take it off, too. Yeah, no, don't! Why not? <laughs> I had to use ruse and cunning before I got to take mine off. First, I made videos, and then... Hey, I can make videos, too. Coming, Eugenie? We're going to redeem the good name of wild boars everywhere. Sam, I don't think it'll work. Foxes kind of look like dogs, but wild boars will always look scary to humans. Very well. If that's the way it is, I shall redeem the good name of wild boars all by myself. Okay, my name's Sam, and I'm a wild boar. I know who I am and where I'm at, and I can tell you that wild boars are some of the nicest around. I gotta say, I love myself. Yeah. That is totally lame, pitiful, and pathetic. But give me the lead role, and I can guarantee your video will get 20 times more hits than Wash's did. Wash! What? I've looked everywhere. He's disappeared. Don't panic. Maybe he's in the garden. Wash! Wash! Washington! It's weird. We haven't seen him since the fox arrived. You think that the fox has frightened him off? Woof, woof, woof! There you are, boy. We were worried sick. No more shenanigans like that. You're gonna make up with your new fox friend. And I can think of nothing better than a game of flying discs to get buddy buddy. <laughs> Right, we'll do the same as Wash. You choke on some kibble, only this time I'll cruise it's in okay. and... It's okay, I get it. No need to explain my vocation to me. And action! <laughs> Shoot, what was it Wash did already? <laughs> Say, where's the fox gone? <laughs> Ah, there it is. Catch! Oops. Woe is me! Vic? You okay, Vic? Vic, talk to me, Vic! Oh, Who do you think you are, Acorn Brain? Don't try to 
to get chummy with me. But I thought that... I was acting, you pea brain. Pure cinema. But if that's the way it is, do it yourself. Yeah. Where's the little fox? Little fox? Little fox! <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> You'll be famous. It's going to be amazing. A documentary about wild boars. All you have to do is pretend to... You. Yeah? Hmm. <laughs> Our little fox's first breakfast. How sweet. I know. How cute would it be to adopt him a little friend? Yeah. Ah, a wild oh no! Hello, animal pal? Sam, why did you do that? I wanted to get taken in and tamed like you. I want to be able to live the real me too. You'll have all the time in the world to do that at the pound. They just arrived. Put your costume back on and everything will be hunky-dory. Okay, but what about you? Me? <laughs> Sam, I have nothing to worry about. The Living Stones have taken me in as their own. <laughs> <laughs> you can come out now. I caught your wild animal. Hey, huh? let him go this instant. That's our fox. We called you about a wild boar. A, there is no wild boar here. And B, housing wild animals is forbidden by law and foxes are no exception. Sorry, at your service, sir. Oh no, our poor little fox. And what about Wash? Imagine the shock he'll have when he finds out that his buddy has disappeared. They were getting on so well. Hang on, where is Wash? Wash? Sorry for yourselves. You'd be better off racking your brains to find out some way of getting them out of there. The pound truck is still sitting right outside. You have the suits? Huh? <laughs> On, start now, will you? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Do you see that, honey? It's like Eugenie is trying to tell us something. <laughs> I think you're right. She's doing a TV rebus. I love them. Right, focus. There's a dog, a prison, a truck. What does it mean? <laughs> the, the animal, animal pound. pound! Excuse me, sir. You wouldn't have picked up a dog this morning by any chance. A dog? No, nothing today but your fox. Can we just make sure? Uh, yeah, yeah. sure. At your service, ma'am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you were right, Sam. I should have never taken my costume off. I promise that next time, I'll listen to you. When you're finished with hugging and kissing, we still haven't started my game yet. Ready for Super Eugenie TV Rebus? Here we go! The boar is a wild animal. Stop, Eugenie! Don't stop channels! be domesticated. The boar could turn into the perfect family pet. You see? Maybe I could try again. Just don't <laughs> <No! laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. So, what's the surprise? You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute, I've nearly finished. Here we go, system activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard. 
What's a smart home with head? No idea, but I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System, your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served. No! Oh. Wow! And you haven't seen nothing yet. Oh. <laughs> this is incredible! Yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go! Nature sound activated! See you tomorrow morning! This is gonna end in tears. Good luck. <laughs> but this is terrible! It's like we're back in the forest! Don't worry, guys, I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature escape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. Okay, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah! I'm not sure if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Hey, that sounds like... Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. No need. I got it covered. It's okay! I found it! Tropical scape activated! Wow! Is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> yeah, a bit! <laughs> I'll sort this out in no time! How about we press that big green button there and stop the whole thing? Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. You think my costume's melting, Wash? <laughs> Alert! Toxic matter detected! Quarantine commencing. Disinfection of premises. Five. Four, three, quarantine complete. Uh oh, quick, hide! Oh, what was that alarm? We never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Uh oh, come here, you sleepyhead. Uh-oh, I think we got a tiny problem. You know we're wild animals? No, Sam. We're locked outside. Oh, no! No costumes, no kibble! My turn! Oh. Why didn't we press the big green button again? <coughs> Stop! You'll wake up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> but what are we gonna do? Breathe deeply. Everything is gonna be fine. And let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are gonna get on great. Hi, Mirage. I'm Washington. Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. But are you gonna open up? You disconnected, hunk of junk! Is this some kind of joke? 
<laughs> it's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. Come on, nearly there. that house now! On three we go! One, two... Wait, wait, wait. How about five instead? Good idea. You're right. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. Went crazy. Where are our poor little darlings? 
My dear little angels, you must have been terrified. For sure. I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week. Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that uh, then? Um... <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I was just feeding our lovable little fur balls. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. <laughs> Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Dick, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez Jelly Face Dominoes! <laughs> Excellent! Hey, Sam, go on, tell us what His Majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink! Do you have anything to wash your mouth under his my bitten fur? Okay, I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst. You can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished catnap to complete. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Ah! What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Sam? Cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. Mm. Uh, what are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, uh, uh. Elmo. <laughs> Satisfied now? Of course! Ho ho ho! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> ah, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? 
cat. A cat. They've all gone screwy in that yard. No, no, I don't, I don't believe it. It isn't me. Sure it is, it is you. It's all because of the curse of Victoria. She transformed you into a cat. <laughs> But that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But no dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! Yay! My costume! Where's it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it! to your legendary sense of humor. Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no, why? Mm -hmm. Oh no, the Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez! Alvarez? Yes, I've gotta talk to Victoria, it's urgent! Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Huh, that wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the vet, he must know how to put an end to this curse. It's us. We'll start barking, too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, animal pal. Cooper is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> well, They're the lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. 
but I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way! Flash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. Ah! Is that me? I, I don't believe it. It's me, but I'm me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! It's my costume. Oh, with this seat, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Wow! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Why never? Alvarez's coat! My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog! Obviously, a dog is for life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. The narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Miney Mo, you will be the king of disguise! <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog. Oh, one thing I'll say, you sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. <laughs> when it comes to making authentic looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof, 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 woof! Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking, okay? <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? They're coming. Balls in your court. Whoop, whoop. Is whoop, that whoop, box there yelping? Puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Why am I ever annoyed? You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? 
But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. <laughs> so, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're gonna be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. You are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one, thank you! Oh, honey! Look what Washington found! What cutie pies! <sighs> but whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing! We're gonna take great care of you, darlings! You must be starving! I'm gonna take care of that on the double! Oh no, yours are the little boys. <laughs> Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried away? Shh, not here, not in front of the puppies. <laughs> yeah, no, Napoleon, no, Jean Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. I'm so happy the Livingstones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after them for a sec? I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are definitely the queens of disguise. Whee! And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out! Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah! Somebody's gotta eat Eugenie and Susie's kibble, too! Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now, you're going to take off those costumes. Immediately! You're just jealous, because we're the queens of the sky. For sure! And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true, they are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. Ah! Oh, thank you so much! I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So unfair! I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. I warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Yeah. Well, she's, uh, uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! Eugenie? Eugenie! Eugenie! Oh, she disappeared! <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and 
Jean-Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. What? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. <laughs> uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the king of disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Children don't eat puppies. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! <laughs> My beloved sister! Those little monsters! Come on, Elsie! We're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! <laughs> See the turtle be a submarine. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What are we gonna do? Oh, the horror! The horror! All oh, that water! I'm sorry, I can't do anything! Cats hate water! Yeah, but like, uh, I'm a cat too, and uh, since that's a uh, water and all. Aww, what cutie pie! It's true. Little kittens are irresistible. Kind of like Sam. Me. They're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah. Of course, I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I, 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 yeah, I... Yeah, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, 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 what? 